There are a lot of cars on sale today that sometime in the future we're going to regard as classic cars. So future classics, if you will. And in this video, I want to talk about my pick, which is the Porsche 718 Spyder in GT4 family and the reasons why I think they're going to be a future classic car. But before I get into those, make sure you leave a comment down below on what you think is made currently today that will be a classic in the near future. And with that, let's just jump right into it. Full disclosure, uh, I'm extremely biased because this is my Porsche 718 Spyder. I think the Porsche 718 Spyder and GT4s are going to be future classics for a number of reasons, but I'll talk about five of them. The first of which being production numbers. It's not necessarily true that every single classic car is going to be rare. There's a lot of vintage muscle cars that are not necessarily particularly rare, but I think that being rare is something that definitely contributes to a car being a classic in the future. If they don't make as many of them, there are less of them on the market, which makes them more desirable. And for the Porsche 718, the Spyder and GT4 represents the top of the line in the 718 family. Uh, well, actually now the GT4 RS is one step higher than that. But in general, the Spyder and GT4 cars are the most rare. They're the least produced cars. They're not a limited numbered car from Porsche, but they are definitely less available than just say a 718 Boxster S or a GTS or a Cayman or anything like that. So that's the first reason why I think this car is gonna be a future classic is because there's not that many of them. And once they're gone, they're gonna be gone. And if any of you guys are watching who are on a wait list, make sure you comment that down below too. It's interesting to hear about the wait times now because these cars, even though that they're a 718 they're not like a 911 GC3, they're still really hard to get and a lot of people are having a long time waiting for one or not even able to get one at all. And moving on to number two, this one's kind of an odd one out, I bet you weren't expecting this one, but it's simplicity. You see, the Porsche 718 series doesn't have a lot of Porsche's new uh, interior technology and things like that, so the interior is quite simple. In fact, a lot of people even note that it's, I, mean, I wouldn't say dated, but it's definitely not their newest tech. Uh, it has traditional gauge clusters, you know, not digital. One of the gauges is digital, uh, but they're not all digital. This infotainment system is actually, I think it's the same one that's been used since like 2016. Uh, this is a manual transmission car, which we'll get to in a little bit. But there's really not much in here. There's not fancy seat heated. Well, okay, I take it back. You can get seat heaters uh, in the Porsche 718, but I have the optional you know, carbon seats, which are manual which I love, I wouldn't trade them for the other ones, but you know, there's no heated seat options or air conditioned seats or anything like that. Uh, in fact, they're manual sliders. But I think that the fact that the car is simple, there's less to go wrong, which I think will help it stand the test of time. A lot of times when tech trends especially come out, they might be really cool at the moment, but you risk running into the fact that maybe 10 years from now, the technology looks really dated. There are a lot of cars from the 2010 era that would be good examples. If you think of a lot of like the luxury cars that had some tech on it, you know, it just, it doesn't look good now. Whereas I think the Porsche 718, it's got enough tech to, you know, I mean, at least be somewhat current, but it's not so new and cutting edge that it will be outdated easily. And speaking of older tech, say older tech in quotes, it leads me to the number three, which is the engine and drivetrain. So that's actually one of the reasons why I went with the 718 Spyder and GT4 platform. Well, mostly because I think the 718 Spyder is one of the best looking cars that I've seen on the market today that's accessible, but it has a naturally aspirated four liter flat six with the manual transmission. So that's something that's really not common these days. Most manufacturers are going to turbocharged cars or they're going to hybrids or electrics. In fact, the Porsche 718 itself is gonna be replaced with an electric car here in the future right after this one so this was kind of the last of the last which i think is going to really lend itself to being a classic in the future because it's the last of this genre of car that you can get and then the fourth reason why i think this is going to be a future classic is because i think the car looks really good now this is obviously always a subjective thing for each person but i think porsche has really knocked it out of the park with their 718 series i've always liked the boxster and cayman line of cars but I think with the 718, they've really got it to a point to where the cars look really aggressive enough, but still really pretty. And I think they're gonna be a timeless design that will still look good in the future. And then the last, and I think most important, number one reason why I think this is gonna be a future classic car is because it has a manual transmission. That is such a rare thing in modern cars these days. To have a manual transmission is, for car enthusiasts, to me, a must. That's one of the reasons why I did not sell my C7 Corvette and buy a C8 Corvette, because there was no 
manual available at all for it. But Porsche has kept this enthusiast option in their GT3s and the 718 GT4s and the Spiders. I think that's something that's going to really, really play itself really positively in making sure that this car remains desirable in the future because once cars go electric, there's not gonna be a manual transmission option, so these are all you're gonna be able to get. So those wrap up the reasons why I think the Porsche 718 Spyder and GT4 are gonna be future classic cars. Make sure you leave a comment down below on what you think is on sale today that will be a classic in the future. Uh, welcome to the channel. If you're new to the channel, make sure you like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you guys in the next one.